All right, guys, so we're back with another viewer purchase. I bought this from a viewer of the channel. Uh, I believe we have some GameCube games, GameCube console. We have some other solid stuff, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but if you want to sell me anything, go to my website at jrobgaming.com. Fill out the Sell Your Games tab, or excuse me, the Sell Your Games form, and I'll let you know how much I can pay. All right, so we got it almost open now. Here we go. Plenty of bubble wrap. It's a good first sign. Here we go. Okay, yeah, we have some Switch games. That's what it was. So we have some... I think we have some Switch games, PS4 games. I think we have some PS5 games, which is actually the first time I've purchased PS5 games from a viewer. Just because the PS5 is so new, not as many people are, are selling PS5 games. But uh, yeah, let's check these out. I think it's a pretty solid collection. We got Evil Within 2. I've actually been wanting to play this game, so I'm gonna probably gonna play that myself. We got PS5 Immortal Sphinx Rising. We got PS5 House of, House of Ashes. Huh, that looks interesting. I've been really been into the horror games recently. Never even heard of this game, but I might might have tried that out. Is it? It is sealed. Pretty cool. We have Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, uh, PS3. Got Fallout 4 for the PS4. Uh, Village Resident Evil, PS5. I actually have the game, but I only played like an hour of it. I just haven't finished it yet. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Doki Doki. For some reason, there's a little bit of weirdness in the back cover there. We got some Switch games. We got Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. All these in a really nice condition. Got Pokemon Shield. We got some. Oh, we got some Game Boy games in there. We'll check those out in a minute. We've got Five Nights at Freddy's. Help Wanted. I've been wanting to play this game as well. Uh, the Outer Worlds for the Switch. Monster Hunter Stories 2 for the Switch. Zelda: Link's Awakening. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. Game Builder Garage. Dragon's Dogma. Dogma. Uh, Dark Horizon. Never played that. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. We have. Oh, we have a Resident Evil collection for the Switch. LA, I, don't, I never know how to pronounce this. LA Noir, LA Noir, I don't know. <laughs> really fun game, never played on the Switch, but I have it on the 360, I think. Uh, we got some more games here. We got Until Dawn for the PS4. That was a pretty fun game. Fallout 76 for the PS4. Then we got some GameCube games. We got Sims 2. I think most of these are complete in the box. Uh, Geist, Ge I'm not sure how to say that. Geist, probably. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. There you go. You got, there was actually two discs in here what is this legend of zelda collector's edition i think he told me i think i knew that i think he just put that that loose game in the case uh luigi's mansion gamecube we go down here we got some consoles at the bottom also some more games of course we got a steel book for uh monster hunter uh world iceborne mastered edition for the ps4 like i always say i'm a sucker for steel books i love a good steel book and then in here we got some game boy games so let's check these out We've got Super Mario Land DX plus Super Mario Land 2 and Golden Coins DX. I did not even know they made uh, Game Boy games in like a translucent cover. Kind of cool. Actually, these might be knockoffs. I don't know. I'll have to check. Uh, we got Super Mario Bros. 3. We got a couple more Game Boy games here. We got Shrek 2 Video. Kind of cool. Uh, we got Sims busting out for the Game Boy Advance. We got a bunch more like DS and Game Boy games. I'll go through those, through those in a minute, uh, but I want to take these consoles out first. So here we have a GameCube controller. Um, I believe he said it's a third-party controller. You can clearly tell it's not a not a very good controller. Standard third-party kind of deal for the GameCube. I believe this is definitely the GameCube here. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. All right, so here's the GameCube. It is a silver GameCube. And it has the Pokemon XD uh, little sticker thing on top. I believe that's just a... I don't know if you consider this a special edition or not, but I have seen this before. We got the Pokemon XD little thing on the top. Uh, the open button is not opening very well. All right, so I'm gonna have to repair the open button. It's very sticky, but that's usually a fairly easy fix. Of course, we gotta check the compartments on the bottom, see if there's anything left behind. It's a bit dirty in there. No money or anything so far. Yep, nothing in there. And down here, we got a GameCube power supply. And down here at the bottom, we got AV cable for the GameCube, it looks like. And then I think the last item we have in the bottom of this box is a PS3 Slim. So here's the PS3 Slim, pretty standard. Not in like pristine condition or anything, but certainly not bad. And now we'll get back to these uh, DS and Game Boy games I mentioned earlier. So the DS games are wrapped up very nicely. Each one is wrapped up individually. Which, you know, when I ship stuff out, I typically do this. Uh, it's probably overkill to wrap up everything individually, but it never hurts. Um, you know, they're so small, they're, they're fairly easy to get crushed. So you might as well give them the extra packaging. We've got Sims 2. Let me see if I can... Push these out of the way so I can focus on these. So we got Sims 2. Next up we got Animal Crossing Wild World. Mario 2 and Donkey Kong. March of the Mine. This one's a bit torn up a little bit. Next up we got Drawn to Life Collection. And then we got the classic New Super Mario Bros. 
We've got Metroid Prime Hunters for the DS. And then we have Pokemon Platinum version for the Nintendo DS. We have Mario Party DS. We have Mario Kart DS. And then we have Pokemon Black version 2. We got the Herbs, Sims in the City. We got Zelda Spirit Tracks with uh, <laughs> no label on it. Uh, Spider Man Web of Shadows. Wario Master of Disguise. Drawn to Life, uh, the next chapter. And then Ace Attorney Investigation. And then we also still have a few Game Boy Advance games. We got The Sims 2. We got Super Mario World 2, Metroid Fusion, uh, Super Mario Advance. We got Pokemon Leaf Green, which appears to be authentic. I have some, I have an authentic and some fakes to compare it against. So I'm like, I'm like 90% sure that's authentic. And then we have Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Now they've got a couple I'm not sure about. These two, the labels look a little, little rough, and I've never even seen a Game Boy Advance game with a blue shell. So I'm honestly not sure if those are authentic or not. I'll have to do some more research into that. And then I saw like one DS game that the label looked like pa Pokemon Platinum. Like if you look here, the label is just completely crooked, which is kind of odd. I don't think I've ever seen that on a DS game. So uh, I'm not sure if that's authentic. It, the label like looks pretty good. Um, not sure, but I'll have to check into that. Uh, it's definitely not authentic. Okay, so let me show you guys this. So looking at the back here, it's a lot more obvious. Uh, if you look at the authentic Nintendo cartridge, like look at that label, the Nintendo label, and then look at it on here. It's like clearly the O does not look like a Nintendo. It looks, it just looks really bad. It's an actual circle instead of a little kind of oval. Uh, so we know this Pokemon Platinum version is fake. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to tell them that I can't pay them full price um, because it's it's fake. Now just looking at a few more of these, uh, the other one I wanted to look at was Pokemon Black version because that's a pretty common one for people to fake or do reproductions of because it's such an expensive game. I'm um, just comparing them to these though. I think it's authentic, kind of hard to see here, but because it is a black card instead of gray like most of the other ones. The label looks good. The label is actually straight, under, unlike the uh, Pokemon Platinum, where it's just very crooked and the label is like a bit grainy. You know, this one doesn't look perfect either, but it does look a good bit better. And just looking at the back, like I think the Nintendo logo looks good. Not 100% sure on that. I'll have to do a little bit more digging, but just something to keep in mind when you guys are buying games or selling games, uh, you want to make sure, especially with like Pokemon games and uh, other high value games that you're not getting fakes. Um, because they're fairly common now and they're just they're not worth as much and they they usually have issues so uh yeah just keep that in mind like if you sell something to me and you send me a fake i can't buy it so i can't pay you anything for it so that's a pretty pokemon platinum version is a pretty significant uh hit to the value because that's a pretty expensive game uh but yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video and of course go down below to my website it's called jrobgaming.com and you can fill out the sell your games tab and let me know what you have to sell and I'll let you know how much I can pay. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.